So you're having some difficulty on the Dark Rifts because there's a solo boss and the bosses are a little bit strong and you don't know what to do. Well, here's a couple tips that I used in order to clear my Dark Rifts. Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Dark Rifts. And the first thing that I want you guys to do is to buy potions, HP potions, and mana potions, or SP potions, whatever you need. In order to find the closest NPC that sells potions, you're gonna click on this find NPC button, and you're gonna click on the goods, and it'll automatically set a waypoint. So over here is the general goods vendor. I'm gonna to talk to this fine person, and go to shop. And you're gonna see that there's a whole bunch of regular potions, you're not gonna buy any of these. The ones that you wanna look for are these. The Instant HP Potion Extra Large. It costs 2,000 silver. You're going to scroll down here and then there's another one. The Instant MP Potion Extra Large. Obviously, if your class doesn't use MP, buy the WP one. If they don't use WP, buy the SP one, right? Since I'm a witch, I'll be buying health potions and MP potions. And usually I buy around 20. So you can see there that I have 20 HP potions. I've got 12 here, so I'll top that up and I'll buy another 8. And boom, I've got 20 HP potions and 20 MP potions. So why does this HP potion and MP potion matter so much? The main thing is because these instant HP potions have a two second cooldown. So you can spam them every two seconds and it's instantly going to heal you 275 HP. So as long as you have the HP potions, you can keep chugging these down in order to stay alive. And another thing is, if you have a fairy, so over here I have a tier 4 fairy, I got very very lucky, but you might not have a tier 4 fairy, it doesn't matter. The main skill you want is Miraculous Cheer. This is purely RNG, so if you have it, good for you, if you don't, it's fine, you can just press your 1 or 2 key, just put it on your hotbar, and spam the potions like mad, and you'll still be able to heal yourself. But let's say you're lucky, and you're fortunate, and you do have Miraculous Cheer. What you do is click on the potion settings and over here you can click recover HP to use your instant HP potion. So you can set it to be like, okay, whenever my HP gets below 50%, it will automatically use an instant HP potion. Whenever my MP, WP, or SP gets below 25%, it will automatically use an instant MP potion. Click confirm and voila, it's set. So my fairy will automatically use the potions for me. Okay, so now that you've got your HP potions and your MP potions, you're ready to go face tank the boss. Next thing is understanding the difficulties. So when you click on the Dark Rift, you're going to see difficulty very hard and hard. However, it doesn't explain why this one has a golden border around it. And the main reason is because these are the new bosses which drop a lot of Ancient Spirit Dust. So for those who don't know, every 5 Ancient Spirit Dust you have, you can make a Kafra Stone. And Kafra Stones are worth like 2.6 million on the market. It's very good money. So don't be discouraged just because this one doesn't have a box of the distorted dead. I know that you guys love your boxes. I love my boxes too because when you open them, you get a chance of getting like an ogre ring or something cool and you can sell out on the market and make a lot of money. But don't overlook these ancient spirit dust. You get a lot of them from the ones with the golden border. They give you like a hundred of them, which is basically 20 Kafra stones, which is basically a lot of money. I can't do math, but you guys can do the math. A hundred divided by five is 20. 20 Kafra stones multiplied by 2.6 million equals many, many monies. So don't overlook that, okay? Another thing is under this swirly circle, you're gonna see a Roman numeral. So these Roman numerals go up to five. So the V thing is a five. And so when it's stage 5, it means that they are the hardest. When these Dark Rifts first appear, they're always going to be stage 5, which means they're the hardest. However, if you're unable to beat it because it's simply too difficult, or you're having trouble, or you just don't have time to do it, don't worry. Every 24 hours you wait, this will go down by one level. And you don't even need to be online for those 24 hours, it goes down automatically. So you can be offline, you could be doing something else, have the game closed, your computer could be shut off, it doesn't matter. After 24 hours from when the Dark Rift spawned, it will go down from 5 to 4. And then another 24 hours will go down to 3, down to 2, down to 1, and it will stay at level 1. That is the easiest it'll ever get. And so if you're having trouble doing Dark Rifts, or if you simply don't like Dark Rifts, just leave them until they hit stage 1. 
then go and do them. However, there is a limit of Dark Rift. You can only have up to 12 Dark Rifts. So after you've got 12 Dark Rifts, you should really do them because you will not get any more Dark Rifts until you clear them. But yeah, enough talking. So uh, let's go do a Dark Rift. So I'm going to do Steel Nux first. I simply click this and it says to the boss and I press my T key and I will start auto pathing towards the boss. Do be careful and try not to AFK too long if you're auto pathing to a boss because the auto path will literally run into the boss okay so you don't want to just leave it on autopath go out get a drink go have lunch or something because the chances are you're going to come back with your horse dead and you're probably going to be dead too what people can do is if you are autopathing towards uh, let's say that i'm going to uh, steal nux over here and i know that oh i need to go to the bathroom or something maybe i would autopath here just to just on the side of the road or somewhere else just not exactly at the boss because uh yeah you don't want to do that anyway we're gonna get to the boss now and then i'll show you guys a couple more tips so that it'll make your life a little bit easier okay so once you get close to a dark rift make sure you park your horse somewhere safe that's the first thing you need to do the second thing is understanding if you die in a dark rift you do not lose exp so if you die to other PvE elements, you will lose 1% of your EXP unless you use one of these Elyon's tiers, which will allow you to resurrect yourself and not lose your combat EXP. Also, another thing, when you're fighting Dark Rift bosses, your crystals will not break. So you can see over here, I've got two dark red fang crystals and some combined crystal of Macaloid, blah, 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 blah. None of these will break if I die while fighting a Dark Rift. So those are two things that you can keep in mind so you can go ham and just uh, eat them up. Another thing is the Dark Rift boss's HP will not regenerate. So you can go in, hit the boss as much as you can, and then run away from him. And his HP will not regenerate back to full when you come back and hit him again. So we're going to see over here that there is the Dark Rift, okay? So you do need to get close to him before he spawns. So after he spawns, you can run away from him like what I did. And so now when I go in, I can immediately start hitting him. So for some classes, you might not want to do this, but for the witch, I like to use it because if you press K, scroll all the way down from the main menu, you can see that Rage Absorption. It will give me super armor when I cast it. It gives me 30 AP for 60 seconds, increases my casting speed by 25% for 60 seconds. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really nice to have all this stuff. Another skill that is super, super useful is this, Magic Lighthouse. This only applies to witches and wizards, but Magic Lighthouse is super, super useful because it taunts the enemy. So you go up to the boss, you cast Magic Lighthouse, and then you don't hit the boss yet until you see the boss hitting the little glowy circle. Once it starts hitting it, then you can go ham on the boss and beat it up, okay? So let's see, I cast this. Let's recast my buff since I talk so much. Q, let's consume my rage. And let's go up to the boss. So here, cast the magic lighthouse. We're going to wait until he hits the magic lighthouse. Okay, come on. Okay, good. So he hits the magic lighthouse. So now we can slow him. We can do all our skills. And we can just start beating him up. Because he's just going to be hitting the lighthouse as well as a little acid ball over there. And as a witch, we can just stand all the way back here, cast all our spells, be super safe until the lighthouse dies. So once the lighthouse dies, you immediately cast it again, and you wait until he hits the lighthouse. You see, once he's hitting it, then we're good, we're good to go again, and we can start beating him up with our skills. And while this is happening, if you run low on mana or on HP, just press 1 or 2. So I do have a fairy that uh, is using the pots for me automatically when I get low, and immediately I cast another globe. And I start running around, running around, waiting for him to hit the little lighthouse thing. Okay, good, he's hitting it again, and we go back and wail on him. Uh, if you're a witch, do use your E, which is that acid blob, as well as your shift Q, which will slow the enemy. And it gives you so much time, so much freedom. So the little tip on when the magic lighthouse runs out is usually when the cooldown runs out. So you can see that I have 15 more seconds until it's off cooldown. And that's usually how long the thing lasts. It depends on the enemy. Some enemies will kill the lighthouse very, very quickly. Some enemies not. But you can see here that he's just beating up on that. And cooldowns up. I immediately cast another one. And I just wait until he starts attacking that one. Uh, I do need to make sure that he is in the range. Or else uh, if he's not in range of the taunt, sometimes he will aggro onto me. 
and if I'm hitting him a lot before the lighthouse takes aggro, I will also become a target, which is uh, not something I want. So I'm just doing this, like that. You see, I think he killed the lighthouse really quick there, but uh, I just gotta be careful. And I'll heal myself once in a while. So uh, for which I don't really need that many health pots, but uh, it's definitely nice to have. And we zap him again. We do our AoE, and we do our stabby stabby. And our lighthouse is dead, or going to die, so we cast another one. And then again, we give it a couple seconds to grab the aggro of the boss. And once it, hello, don't hit me. Come on, grab the aggro, grab the aggro, grab the aggro. Okay, it's good. Now again, we cast our acid thing, and then we slow the boss. And we go back to wailing its behind so that we do extra damage from the back attacks. And voila. See? There we go, we killed the very hard one very very easily. What I want you to see is the Ancient Spirit Dust. I had 15 Ancient Spirit Dust before I started this fight, but I now have 110. So this is 21 Kaffir Stones. That's a lot of Kaffir Stones, so please don't underestimate this. This is a lot of Kaffir Stones, which is very very good money. So now we're going to go to our horse and we're going to do the last Dark Rift. <laughs> And there we go! Very, very simple. I'm sorry that I didn't talk over the second boss, mainly because I was on Discord talking with a couple friends, and I totally forgot that I was recording. That's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna open this box of the Disordered Dead, and hopefully we're gonna get something cool. So well, let's go! Oh, she jumped. Okay, we got a forced Raneros something something something. What is this? Uh, Forest Ranos Ring, so 8.6 million silver, so that's cool I guess. But yeah, so that's basically how you do Dark Rifts. Also, if you're still having trouble with the Dark Rifts, you can always buff yourself up. What I recommend for most people if you're having trouble is to take the Exquisite Cron Meal, because this gives you AP, Accuracy, Attack, Slash Cast Speed, Movement Speed, Critical, Evasion, HP, blah 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 blah, all the good stuff so that you can kill the boss a lot easier. Okay, but that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!